easy to prepare with just one basic ingredient. Make these rice puppets at home in any of the three different flavors that you like or all. Welcome to Water Gravy. We will have a small recap from the previous video as the basic preparation is the same. Add two cups of raw rice to a bowl, wash and allow to soak for five hours. After five hours, add the soaked rice to a mixer jar and grind to a very fine paste. Transfer to a container, close and allow it to ferment for a day. Three different flavors are going to be made with this batter. First is plain. Take six ladles of batter in a bowl. As the batter is thick, I'm adding one fourth cup of water. The batter should be thinner than dosa batter. Add half a teaspoon of salt, less than one eighth teaspoon of asafoetida or hing, one teaspoon of ajwain, omam or omkalu. Mix well. Take a plate idli stand. Remove the plates. Add a drop of oil and grease all the plates. Add 3 fourth ladle of batter to each plate and spread it evenly. If you have banana leaves, you can use that instead of plates. It imparts a nice flavor. Heat a steamer pot with water. When the water becomes hot, place the idli plates and steam for 45 seconds. Remove after 45 seconds. Using any blunt instrument, release one edge and slowly remove it from the plate. I'm going to dry them on this patravali, patal leaf or mandara ilai. Traditionally, many dried leaves are stitched together to make this leaf and leaves from different trees are used. I've slightly greased the leaf with oil. Coriander spiced with green chilies is going to be the second flavor. Add three ladles of batter to a mixer jar. To this, add half a teaspoon of salt, a handful of washed and chopped coriander leaves, two green chilies, and two tablespoons of water. Grind to a fine paste. Transfer to a container. Batter should be thinner than dosa batter. To each of the greased plates, add 3 fourth ladle of the batter and spread evenly. One more method is to use wet cloth instead of plates. Steam as before and remove after 45 seconds. Remove from the plates. Place on the leaves and allow to dry. Tomato and red chili is the third flavor. As before, add three ladles of the batter to the mixer jar. I'm adding one small tomato. Chop and add. To this, add two red chilies. These chilies are of the medium spicy variety. Add one four teaspoon of salt, less than one eight teaspoon of asafoetida. As tomato has water content, I'm not adding water. Grind to a very fine paste. Transfer to a container. I'm using a regular plate this time. Grease the plate, add the batter and spread evenly. Steam for 45 seconds. Remove. And place on the leaf to dry. These leaves are antibacterial and add a nice flavor. 
The best part about these puppets, also called as Ilai Vadam, is they can be dried indoors. I'm placing them on a mat and allowing them to dry for a day. As there was sufficient light the next day, kept them in the sunlight for two hours. You can also skip this step and dry them totally indoors. Now the rice puppets are ready to be fried. Heat any cold pressed oil in a kadai. When the oil becomes sufficiently hot, add the puppets to the oil and fry. You can see that they really increase in size when fried. Also for that, ensure that the oil is at the right temperature. Here we have our crispy, simple, easy to make, homemade rice puppet in three different flavors. Plain salted, green chili coriander, and red chili tomato. If you enjoyed watching the video, press the like button and subscribe to keep posted on more such recipes. Thank you for watching. Would love to hear from you.